officially through our Stevie Moore, but not on other labels. So that's always been a redundant question. I can't figure out what is supposed to be unreleased and what is is released. Often with my vast catalog, I've had compilations. Most of my records are somebody's idea of cherry-picked favorites, the best of. So, and in some cases with that, uh, there's a lot of overlap. People have records that have the same song on it three, four, or five times. My bad. So many genres of music. I lack focus. I lack direction. Proud of it. It's always been that way. It's always going to be that way. And I find much difficulty in trying to convert new audiences because most people are tunnel vision. They won't go that extra effort to appreciate viva la difference, all the different parts of me and all the different parts of life and art. My argument is always like, well, you don't have the same meal every night for dinner, it's natural to try to diversify. I don't want spaghetti. I just had it last night. We'll have spaghetti four or five days from now. Anyway, my music's that way, and I've, I have no focus. I'm not religious. I'm not political. I'm starving. I need... Some, something to eat. I don't have a favorite R. Stevie Moore song. I don't have a favorite R. Stevie Moore album. I don't have a favorite musical genre. I don't have a favorite film. I don't have a favorite novel. I don't have a favorite entree for the dinner menu. I don't have a favorite age. I don't have a favorite person. I do have a favorite girl. I don't have a favorite uh, country star. Jack White, give me a call. My number is 8.30 Someday you might meet a person that you didn't know Very good. Records are so much fun. Records are so good. Somebody put on an album. No talking, no talking they put it in the rules today. They won't let us talk. They won't let us walk. They must want us to fade away. Necessary. Are you truly inspired? Are you reading right? Are you How much 
watch up all of this and we take. I've often had mixed feelings about file sharing. Pretty vulnerable in the fact that I often say, steal my music. I don't I could care less. Just spread it around. That's all I care. The exposure means so much more than your dollar bill, you know. But of course that's not a good way of being if you're gonna be trying to make a living doing music. And it's always been a, a give and take war against giving stuff away and demanding high price tags. But file sharing is so huge now, you really can't control it. I don't like go on a rampage saying that Napster ruined the music business and the, you, you should really feel guilty if you got an R. Stevie Moore album without paying for it. That's ridiculous. I totally disagree with that. You share it. You don't sell it. You can sell it. If you can sell it, more power to you. It's all about profits, yo. Back in the cassette days, there was a whole uh, thing about home taping is killing music. The, the record companies were going frantic because this is long before CDs and CDRs. People were naturally recording their own cassettes and enjoying the music for free. So who do you blame? You know, they, they shouldn't even have tape recorders and blank tapes if it's such a problem that you have to pay for everything you hear. I don't go in that uh, methodology as far as my songs, I mean, the, especially these days, I put something up on SoundCloud just so that people can hear it and maybe download it or maybe somebody tells me, no, 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 don't let them download it. You're giving music away. Don't give it away, you got to sell it. But of course, giving it away is also promotion. So you got to super hype and, and, and share. You have to share stuff. That's, that's the world we live in. Every goddamn website you go to has share this article, share this page, tweet. You have to share. Sunny and share. Modern music influences you. Nothing. We laugh about the Grammys, Grammys the other night. I didn't see it. I don't know anything much about that. I don't even have a television set here. I'm glad. I mean, you must be getting some amazing footage. It's just so many mixed nuts. Ow! On Wednesday night, the night of February, the year of our Lord 2011, I'm a nudist, a cold nudist. <laughs> Second night, Be right back. Great footage, man. It's got to be fantastic. Chaos.
<laughs> Am I having fun? What was the questions again? And I have, and I still would like, as you were saying, writing a book. I dabble, in fact, this was a big thing. The end of last year, I kind of stopped wanting to make music, and I just started doing spoken word. Almost like a blog or a vlog, where I would just had a microphone set up, I get real drunk, and I'm always taking notes. I have scribbles, papers everywhere, and I would just fill up CDs of spoken word. And I consider them high art, you know. It's all just wanking. But what's cool is just as there's no music, it's all just about a bunch of short little tracks. It's like humor, or it's spoken word. It's da-da. I love that stuff. And I can do it without having to make everything into a song. As much as I'm proud of the music that I make, my main job is cataloging it and providing it for the masses. My latest fun thing is SoundCloud. You know, I got a new track, brand new song, a rough mix. I can't just sit on it. I'm just itching to share it with friends. And then it goes a little beyond that to where leaking. It's a big thing these days. Something leaked. You're not supposed to be out yet. You're not supposed to be heard. You're not supposed to hear it yet without paying for it. It leaked. WikiLeak? What was that thing that happened? I live around the cut and paste methodology of my whole life as far as I'm constantly coming up with ideas and I have to put them down so I won't forget them and yet I can never connect them all together after the fact. I sought him out, he became his friend and uh, that's, that's the way it's been ever since. His music, you know, radically changed my life. I don't, have you got to hear anything like it? And, uh, and, and it, and it <coughs> bugs the shit out of me that this guy isn't known by more people than he is today. And that's from the heart. Because that's my name. Mama! Hey. Stop it! Would please stop it? This is ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. And what is focus? I mean, it's just one day at a time and one idea at a time. And to try to connect and click with getting all the right ideas together at the right time for the public and having a global smash hit single, you know, I don't know how to do any of that. But that's really not my forte. I like uh, cut and paste. Frank Zappa. I just put all my stuff together, throw it against the wall, see if it sticks, and not worry about it. Because then the next day I'll start at something brand new. And there are guys that you can pay to help try to f help you get some focus, you know. You need to follow this outline, Stevie. Ways to live. How to win friends and influence people. Next question.